today in the Quadratech Academy, we're gonna be putting plywood in the back of our Gladiator. Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Welcome to another episode of the Quadratech Academy. Today, we got something special for you guys. We're taking a little road trip. I'm out driving around in a brand new Gladiator, and we are gonna be answering the question that I know so many of you out there are dying to know the answer to, and that is, can you carry a full four by eight sheet of plywood back there in the bed? And the answer to that question is yes, of course, you can carry plywood or drywall or heck, even a longer canoe or kayak back there in the bed of the Gladiator. Jeep has designed some really cool features into the bed to make accomplishing any of those tasks very easy. Now, before we can go ahead and load up the bed of our Gladiator, we actually need to pick up a few extra items as well. So we're gonna swing down to our local home store. We're gonna grab some of those sheets of plywood, but we're also gonna be grabbing a couple two by fours. Now we need to cut them to length to fit in the width of the bed. Jeep has designed a pocket on top of the wheel arch, as well as a pocket closer to the tailgate opening to carry two two by fours stacked up. And once you have those three two by fours positioned in the bed, along with setting your tailgate into that mid position using those two cable guides on the side of the tailgate opening, well, those three things combined are gonna create a level platform for you to carry a full-size four by eight sheet of plywood back there with no problem at all. So why don't we go ahead and swing in the store, grab everything we need, and we'll get right to it. Now, before we can begin loading up the bed of our Gladiator here, like I mentioned, there's a couple steps we need to take to prep the area to carry an oversized load. Namely, we've got to cut down those two by fours to fit into two pockets, one on the top of the wheel arches and a second closer to the bed opening in the Gladiator. So if we grab our tape measure, we need to take a couple quick measurements here the pocket on top of the wheel arches actually has a slight taper in the sheet metal. So you wanna make sure you measure on the flat area. When we do that, we see we get a measurement of about 49 inches. So that's gonna be our first cut. Now, if we come back here to the second pocket, what we see we get a measurement of about 57 and three quarter inches. Now, of course, it's always better to err on the high side, so I think I'm gonna start at about 58 inches because I wanna make sure I get a nice tight fit back here, and then if I have to trim a little extra off, I'd rather do that than to cut them too short the first time. The other thing to make sure you pay attention to is that the bottom of the Gladiator has a slight curve to it. So we need to cut a 45 off of the bottom side of one of our two by fours so that it sits flush in here against both the bed, the bottom of the bed, and the sides of the Gladiator. Money. Now with our three two by fours set in the bed here, the last thing we need to do before we can load our plywood is to set our tailgate into that middle position using the two cable guides, one on each side of the bed here. And to do that, you just wanna raise the tailgate up to the midway position and then simply tuck the cables behind each one of the guides. And when you do this, you wanna make sure you get the cable all the way behind the guide so that it rests into the channel there. If you don't get the cable far enough, you see it's gonna catch on this little tab here and you could break that off if you load a heavy load on top of the tailgate. So again, just make sure it's all the way in. It'll kind of make a little snap when it falls in there. And at this point, ready to go ahead and start loading up the bed. So as you guys can see, it's pretty easy to set up the bed of your Gladiator for carrying an oversized load. Those three two by fours positioned in the front pocket and the rear pocket combined with the tailgate set to that mid position create a perfectly level platform back here 
and I think you guys are going to be able to carry all the plywood you'll ever need right here in the back of your Jeep Gladiator. Now, if you guys have comments or questions about setting up the bed of your Gladiator for carrying an oversized load, of course, you can leave those for us in the comment section below. You'll definitely want to hit that subscribe button so you're sure to catch all the latest right here from the Quadratech Academy. Until next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail, but right now, we got to get our load tied down so we can hit the job site.